Rated T for Teen. I'm Raphael Van Lerup, the Founder and Creative Director at Hinterland Studio. Uh, so my name is Ian Howe, I'm the CEO of Skybound Games and I wear many hats here, um, including sweeping the floor and making the coffee on occasion. I think one of the things that's so interesting about The Walking Dead for me is how well that series kind of realizes the, the apocalyptic sort of scenario and focuses in on a series of survivors and, and the difficult decisions that they have to make to survive and in, in, in how society is changing around them. Actually, when we started talking about it and started talking about some of Raph's influences and, and actually some of the things within the game, um, it is evident that there is a, a pretty significant crossover and ultimately I guess The Walking Dead is, is a story about, um, is about survival, it's about people, it's about relationships, it's about the human condition and I think a lot of the same things can be said about The Long Dark. It's a game that really forces you to look inward. So The Long Dark, unlike a lot of games, is really not a power fantasy. It's not a game where you're a hero and you're fighting tons of enemies. It's really a vulnerability fantasy. So we drop you in the middle of the wilderness. You don't know anything about what's going on. You don't really know even how to survive. And you have to figure everything out on your own. We don't really help you that much. Um, I was really interested in exploring the idea of a Canadian apocalypse in an environment where the only enemy that you faced was really uh, nature and your own bad decisions. And that to me is something highly unusual in games. And to do that in, in, a, in a way that makes it still an enjoyable experience, but a um, almost like a zen-like experience, I think was something I hadn't really experienced before. In a way, we're trying to empower players by putting them in this really vulnerable situation. Because ultimately, if they succeed, it's their own success. It's not the game that gave them something, it's something that they took themselves. I would describe The Long Dark as like you're playing a, a moving watercolor painting that's trying to kill you. <laughs> um, it's really an experience that's about thinking ahead, planning ahead. Um, you have to explore, you have to be continuously moving, you have to be keeping an eye on all your needs as a survivor. Um, and against the backdrop of these pressures that are always mounting, you know, you're searching for supplies and you never have enough. You're planning ahead to try to survive another day. Um, you know, you'll wander over a hilltop and you'll see this amazingly beautiful vista and you'll just stop and watch it even though you know the clock is ticking behind you. It's the only game that I've ever played of the thousands of games I've played where I've just gone for a walk just to see a stunning vista, just to, you know, uh, experience what's happening in the universe. You know, we, we've put a lot of energy into the soundscape in the game, so we, not only do we have beautiful music, but we have this really rich audio simulation. Um, you have to always be listening for cues from the world about whether there might be wildlife around the corner. So it's really an experience where you have to play with all of your senses really engaged in order to be successful. I think the word game is, is something that is called into question here with The Long Dark. It's more of an experience. Um, it's, it, it's one of those uh, games that you get out of it what you put into it. If you invest yourself in it, it will deliver back to you in spades. The game is really many different experiences. We have uh, Winter Meet, which is our story mode, and it's the story of a bush pilot, William McKenzie, who crash lands in the middle of the Canadian wilderness with Dr. Astrid Greenwood. We also have a survival mode, which is uh, we, what we call permadeath. So it's a very challenging survival experience where we really don't hold the player's hand at all. They have to figure out everything for themselves. And when they fail and they die in the game, we delete their saves. So it's quite punishing. Um, for some reason, people really enjoy that experience. <laughs> I think the combination of the story mode um, and the uh, evolution of that mode, along with the sandbox mode, really does offer something for everybody. And I think the arrival of the, uh, 
the retail versions of the game, I believe is gonna bring it to a much wider audience. I think this is the perfect time, you know, to bring the game to retail. Um, the Long Dark's been updated over a hundred times already. It's quite a mature, stable um, survival game platform right now. Um, you know, we're continuously updating the game, so all the retail players will be pulled into that same update stream as all our other players, and they're gonna get all those same updates, including uh, episode three, which is launching in December. So it's really the perfect time to be coming into the Long Dark. There's lots of work that's been done that you're gonna be taking advantage of, and there's lots more to come down the road.